In this overview, we'll show you the highlights of performing reconciliations and transaction matching. In reconciliation compliance, 100% of the period end reconciliations that are required are tracked. If a reconciliation is only done in reconciliation compliance, then it's typically a lower volume, not complex, reconciliation. This is where auto reconciliation for general ledger balance to subledger, zero balance accounts, and many other forms of automation can be done to complete the reconciliations. In transaction matching, a percentage of the balance sheet reconciliations that are higher volume and or complex, for example, many data sources are required. Transaction matching can also be used for non-balance sheet reconciliations like system-to-system -system reconciliations, stock and or share transactions, prescription claims to payments, or other operational reconciliations that are required for your business. In reconciliation compliance, your administrator sets up the reconciliation list that contain the balances to be reconciled, as well as the account ID, name, status, and start and end date. You will receive email reminders for due dates and for reconciliations that require action. Reconciliations can be performed at whatever level makes sense for the business. For example, you could perform some reconciliations by company code and account level while performing other reconciliations at the company code, account, and profit center level. The administrator creates mapping rules to assign the account balances to the reconciliations, and when the balances are imported, ensure that they appear in the correct reconciliation based on these rules. The administrator can assign a standard format from a library for the reconciliation or build a new customized format. Preparers enter reconciling items, balance explanations, attachments, and comments to support the justification of the balance. To control what is allowed within a reconciliation, administrators configure settings to enforce policy compliance. These settings ensure that reconciliations are accurately prepared before being presented for approval. Reviewers are responsible for the approval process. Reconciliations may have multiple reviewers who perform approvals monthly, quarterly, or dynamically when risk conditions have been detected within the account. Risk conditions are defined based on reconciliation balances or content in the current period or prior period or statistical trends across a range of prior periods. Administrators can use configurable auto-reconciliation rules to enable less frequent reconciliation for low-risk accounts. A standard set of rules is available for common cases, such as authorized zero balance accounts, or when the reconciliation requires matching a general ledger balance to a sub-ledger balance within a tolerance. Additionally, administrators can build customized auto-reconciliation rules using their organization's policies to achieve specific company objectives. Use the overview dashboard to track the count of open and late reconciliations. You can also view complete and incomplete metrics by risk rating, account type, organizational unit, format, or reconciliation process. The compliance dashboard shows how well your company achieved its compliance objectives. You can see reconciliations that were on time, late, rejected, or contain risk conditions such as debit credit violations or aging violations. You can view user performance metrics for preparation and review functions and create performance indicators to calculate the number of reconciliations that fall within your company's quality ranking policies. In transaction matching, your administrator sets up the reconciliation lists that contain the transaction matching reconciliations. Each reconciliation is assigned a match type that determines how transaction matching occurs, including the data and rules. When creating a match type, one manual rule can be created, and you can also include the following automated rules, one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one, and many-to-many. You can configure rules for tolerance ranges on dates and amounts, and adjustments can be automatic when variances exist. Matching begins with the import of transactions, followed by auto-matching. After auto-matching, transactions are assigned a status of new, suggested, or confirmed. Confirmation by the preparer is required for suggested matches. You can manually match transactions that are not automatically matched. When all transactions have been matched, the reconciliation balance report can be run. If sign-off is required, you can upload the balancing report in reconciliation compliance.
In this overview, we've shown you the highlights of performing reconciliations and transaction matching. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.